All right, so check it out. I'm joined by Tim. He's got action figures in his hands. I've got everyday household cleaning items in my hands. So we're gonna give you guys some basic toy cleaning tips on the cheap. All right, so what's up y'all? In this video, we're gonna be dealing with many different various toys and different stages of dirt, grime, uh, nastiness, uh, yellowing, discoloration, even a uh, Sharpie on a beloved uh, G.I. Joe figure uh, that you guys have. So as you can see, here are the test subjects, if you will. And to tell you about what uh, chemicals and ingredients we are going to be using, I'm going to hand that over to Jay. Thanks a lot, Tim. Appreciate it. So check it out, guys. First and foremost, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wear some clothes that you do not mind messing up because it, it can and will happen. What's Murphy's Law? If anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. So me personally, I've got, you know, this shirt already has some, some paint stains and whatnot. And I actually, in this whole process of, of science experimenting to figure out what, what works best, I've, you know, I've gotten bleach on my shirt, but it's okay. Um, also, I got a towel laid down here. This towel, again, make sure that it's not one of your good towels. Make sure it doesn't belong in the guest bathroom and that your mother or your wife or whatever is going to get mad if something spills on it and and takes the color out of it um this is an old towel i've had for a long time uh so there's my disclaimer and if you decide you want to use a good towel and mess it up just blame me because well i mean i'm not going to get yelled at so it's all good let's get down to the basic materials that we're going to need here so first and foremost i want to do this on the cheap on the super cheap these are these are tests that me and Tim have done over the last few weeks to try to figure out what is the best way. And I'm gonna show you how to do this with stuff you have laying around the house. And if you don't, you're not gonna have to spend a whole lot of money on it. Let's start with, um, let's start with the bleach. Um, this is name brand because this is just what we were able to find at the moment. Uh, any brand bleach will work, all bleach works the same. Uh, if you don't have this, you can find this at a Dollar Tree or a dollar. Um, next thing we're gonna need, hydrogen peroxide. This ain't 6%, 10%, 30, 40, nothing. It's regular 3% hydrogen peroxide. Um, and this again, dollar at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Next, rubbing alcohol. We don't need 91%, anything like that. This is 70%. Again, regular, you can find this anywhere. How much is this gonna be? What do you think it's gonna be, Tim? A dollar. A dollar at the Dollar Tree if you don't have one, right. Uh, we're gonna need mason jar. Now this already has some peroxide in it and we'll get to why in just a little bit, but if you guys have seen the yellowing videos, you already know why. Uh, this can be bought for uh, actually like around a dollar at a Dollar Tree actually. So um, that's a dollar. If you don't have one of those, this is a pickle jar. It'll work the exact same way. Uh, this was used to have uh, pickles in it. <laughs> I finished the pickles, I soaked it in some warm water, the label came right off and I cleaned it up real nice. And we're going to need a bowl right here. This is probably the last thing we're going to need. Um, maybe a toothbrush that you don't mind getting messed up or something. Maybe we're not gonna need it with the methods that we have and that we have, have tested over the last couple weeks. But just in case, you know, those cracks and whatever you wanna get down deep and get that, that last little bit of grime out, a toothbrush isn't a horrible idea. So um, I guess let's just jump right into the cleaning process, shall we? Okay guys, so as you can see, we got some uh, paint transfer here. A lot of times when toys get thrown into a toy box altogether, you're going to get uh, some paint rubbing off from one toy to another. And that's a prime example of what we have here. Um, also, you, you know, sometimes people write their initials on their figures. That is a thing that happens. A uh, very easy way to get this off is a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol, literally. Again, this is just 70% rubbing alcohol, basic. It's nothing fancy, it's not the 91, um, which 91 does burn a little bit longer. So there's that. <laughs> there we go, just a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And that should come right out. This is going to be extremely easy on your figures, on the paint, on the finish. Um, a lot of these figures have a clear coat over them. And as you can see, I mean, he's trying to work around the camera right now, but I do believe that that paint transfer came off pretty easy. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, look good? Yeah, I like it. 
Excellent. Again, this is 70% alcohol, nothing fancy. You know, something you find for a buck at the Dollar Tree and it's not harsh at all on your figures, the finish or the actual paint. All right, now guys, we're gonna show you, again, this is rubbing alcohol. We're gonna show you how it works on marker if someone wrote their initials on their figures. You're gonna have to scrub a little bit to get that stuff to come off. As you guys can see already, that is a huge improvement. We are not done. We're gonna keep scrubbing this. Let's do this. Let's just do this right here on camera and show everyone that it actually works and we didn't get off camera and clean it up another way. <laughs> Which I'm sure there, there's other ways to do it. I know I'm sure the comments are going to light up with, oh, use magic eraser and whatnot on the ink, on the uh, marker. And uh, that sh should work. Honestly, the magic eraser on that, um, it will not work on other things when it comes to cleaning toys. So we've got, this is actually my only Dress Blues Gung Ho. It is my favorite. G.I. Joe figure and just what you guys saw here it will take a little bit of elbow grease that looks pretty clean I gotta be honest um, you know maybe a little more scrubbing you might see some faint right there but that came off pretty good and again y'all the rubbing alcohol is not harsh at all on your toys I, I'm saying that for a reason <laughs> and we'll We'll get to that reason a little bit later on in this video, but you know, a little rubbing, a little elbow grease, and basically do it till you're satisfied. And I'm happy with that, at least for the video. So let's move on to uh, the next cleaning method, shall we? All right guys, so my cleaning method, my cheap cleaning method that I have found, to me, this works the absolute best. And I'll tell you why. First of all, we're gonna use some bleach and water. If you want. I have some bleach left in that one, so we're gonna finish that off. Bleach is bleach. Clorox is a little bit more yellow. <laughs> uh, you can dilute this just a bit if you want. We're going to, because I found in my experimentation that it doesn't matter if it's 100% bleach, if it's 50, 50, 75, 25, it doesn't matter. It seems to all work the same. So if you're trying not to use all the bleach and have mama whoop your ass, uh, maybe dilute it so you don't use it all. But this is a really great, 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 great cleaning method. Uh, I've been doing this for a few weeks now and I'm not gonna change it. Again, this is something I've tested so you don't have to, but this is one of the best ways I've found to clean figures. We got a bunch of muscle figures. We're gonna drop them in. We're gonna drop these in. We're gonna leave them a few hours. Honestly, might even leave these in overnight, truthfully. Um, let's get some of the dirtier figures here and I'll show you guys how to keep these submerged. And again, this is doing this on the cheap, doing this with stuff that you have sitting around the house. Stuff that I take a fork. <laughs> Get underneath there, Mahoney. There we go. I'm probably gonna have to move him because I'm about to drop. Uh, look how dirty this guy is. This is gonna be probably one of the best ones to show you the difference in, in what the bleach can do. And again, this is safe for your figures. This is not harsh on your figures at all. Um, just got to submerge him a little bit. Maybe we'll add a little bit more water so we can get that level up just a tad more. Again, diluting the bleach doesn't seem to mess with, I mean, look, you can already see that. I just dipped him and he is already so much cleaner. Um, why does this work so well? Well, bleach is a cleaning agent. <laughs> so you got to work the forks a little bit. Uh, sometimes these He-Man figures will try to rise. They just need a little bit of weight on them. And look at Mahoney, he stuck his head out because he wants to be a part of something too. Let's get him back under there. There you go. And we're gonna check on that tomorrow. We're gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave it overnight. And we'll check on it tomorrow. So we'll be back. Okay, so here's a little added, a uh, little bonus. Um, Adam, Prince Adam came with a felt jacket. 
And as you can see, it's pretty, uh, well, I guess 30 years of dirt and grime, 38 years, almost 40, of dirt and grime and, and stains on it and stuff like that. And I found, because I really don't know how to launder a, uh, <laughs> a Prince Adam felt jacket, you know, I can't take it to a dry cleaner or anything. Um, I felt that the best way, and Jace uh, swears by this, is good old baby wipes. So what we're going to do here, is we're going to take one out, set that aside. And we're just going to gently just gently wipe. Gently wipe. Now, you want to be gentle because you don't want to put any more uh, bare spots or rub any more bare spots in the in the the cloth. But at the same time you want to get it clean. As you can see, see that little dirt and grime that's kind of rolling off of it? That's what you want right there. Now this will turn a color. That's okay. That's normal. Uh, it's just the dye of the jacket. You're not going to hurt anything. You're not going to mess it up as long as you're gentle with it. Now with the inside, you can scrub a little bit more vigorously. I like that word. Surprise! I knew it. Knew it. <laughs> knew it. You missed that. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, just because you don't have to worry about rubbing the felt off, you know, just to get that those many years of of uh, armpit sweat. Armpit sweat. Yeah, because you ain't a he man unless you sweat. You know. <laughs> He's over there fighting Skeletor and Beast Man and. Skunk or Merman, Moss Man. And he don't have no lady to do his laundry, so. And always make sure you, you flip your uh, your baby wipe. Always make sure you flip your baby wipe. That's gonna give a, a good coverage with it. I mean, you ain't gonna be able to get everything. But like I said, there's 40 years of dirt and grime on here, and at very least it's going to look better. Okay, so this is the uh, finished um, product, if you will, of uh, the baby wipe. One, th one good thing about baby wipes is they're not harsh. You know, you use them for a baby's ass. So, I mean, if they're good enough for that, I think they're good enough for this. Um, but yes, this is the uh, the after, as you can see. Now, now we do got wear spots. You know, and, I mean, we, we they're, they're, it's bald spots, so you can't really do nothing about that, you know? But as far as the dirt and grime coming off of it, I mean, that's 38 years of nastiness. I think it looks a whole lot better. I concur, sir. Plus, it, it gets a, a good smoothness to the actual jacket once you get it pliable and stuff, and you can put it back on him. Now he's, he's ready to go out on the town. All right guys, quick update right here on the bleaching cleaning method. I really hope this comes through on camera, but this these toys haven't been in there 20 minutes and they look 152% better. And when we pull them out and, and you know show you that the, it's clean, cleaner with, again, it's not harsh or abrasive on your toys. And this ain't the first time I'm doing this uh, with this video. Um, we tested for a couple of weeks, but hopefully, I personally like to leave them in there a little bit longer, try to get as much grime and dirt off as I can, uh, and then we're going to rinse them off with soap and water and go from there, show you uh, it's comparison time, as one pixel Dan would say. Alright guys, so these toys have soaked overnight and we are going to now uh, rinse them off. They're going to have a little bit of film from the bleach and whatnot. Honestly, we're just using basic just soap. So that stuff's good enough for wildlife that uh, it's going through an oil spill. It's good enough for old figures, right? So basically, we're just going to take all the figures Clean them off real nice like.
right guys so as you can see we uh have dipped everything and this is the end result right here again this is my method you can try it or not that is completely up to you i i personally like the bleach method no scrubbing no nothing like that you can especially see here with the prince adam he is so much cleaner than what he was uh, now we do have you know this crotch rot right here if i'm being honest I don't know how to get rid of that. There's no surefire, true way to get rid of that. Um, some people will say use nail polish remover. I recommend against that. Do not use nail polish remover because it's going to take off the sheen and the shine from your, your toy and to make it dull. Um, look at the crash test dummy. He's pretty clean now. Yeah, he is. So if anybody has suggestions on that, and you know, we've taken some legs here and soak them in several different ways and several different things and they just just will not come clean this one actually i think this is the one we've been scrubbing on with yeah. nail polish remover with or without acetone we've tried peroxide we've tried bleach we've tried soap and water i i don't i don't know sometimes bleaching a figure will get this out this if, is, if it's not bad. If it's not extreme, this is pretty extreme so um there's a suggestion on that uh please let us know guys all right guys, so check it out. The last process right here, we're going to de-yellow these figures that we have. Um, the, I guess, generic term is called retro brighting. And this is where the peroxide is gonna come in and we literally use 3% regular peroxide stuff. You know, you get a cut, you're going to put that stuff on there to help clean it up and whatnot. Um, I, I think that there's something to be said about the, the level of your sun. So guys, this method, we're not, we're not doing anything new, not doing anything unique here. Um, I have seen videos, uh, Toy, Toy Poloi, ain't that the dude's name? Yes, sir. He, he does a video with, uh, with, with de-yellowing or retro brighting. Um, and he even says, you know, the, the sun out there in the UK where he's from, it's not, you know, too strong. There's always clouds covering it. I really do think that there's something to be said about, uh, the, the kind of sun that you get here in Texas, we had a lot of heat. This, the sun, like it, it loves to come out, especially this time of year. It's going to be nice and bright. So I have done this with, with a couple of toys already and it turned out great with just the regular 3%. I actually was going to try to do uh, synthetic light UV. Uh, if you want to come over here and look, I don't think this was strong enough because it didn't do anything. Um, it's going to wash it out so come back over this way so now i'm just kind of using this to light up our little setup that we got going here and it's actually done the lighting for all of this video uh so if the lighting sucks it's because of that anyhow i was going to try to do i just don't think it's it's powerful enough to do what i wanted it to do indoors i was going to try to test something indoors but that's a 40 dollars light and i'm just not spending more than that so the process is simple. We got some G.I. Joes, some uh, uh, Star Wars figures. We're going to do Prince Adam. He's at, We're gonna get him whiter, actually, than that. We've got a couple of muscle figures here. We have some yelling going on on the bottom. Uh, but again, we didn't invent this process. And this is where the alcohol, or the, sorry, the peroxide comes in. Okay, so literally, guys, uh, you're just gonna take your figures. You're gonna dunk them. We're gonna put everything in there that we can uh you know what i can get this guy in here and uh maybe i had another one. Oh, we got even he's got some yellowing on him as well we're gonna see if we can't get him cleaned up just a little bit more he's gonna fit actually everyone's gonna fit real nice and tight tight like a tiger just like that we're gonna put the lid on we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. No, we're just gonna put it out in the sun and we're gonna leave it alone. And yeah, it's you're gonna it's gonna bubble. And again, guys, I, I didn't I didn't invent this method, uh, but this is a method we use with 3% alcohol. Some people try to say six, 10, do the salon 40, this and that. It works with just your basic, and that's the point, is cleaning this stuff cheap. Um, you can do this for, for dollars, literally dollars, and you can restore. Now with yellowing, de-yellowing, I have heard that after a couple years, it'll come back. Unfortunately, I don't have any kind of experimentation to, to talk to you guys about that, but that's the rumor is it will come back, but we'll see. Um, we'll get a shot of it in the sun and I'll show you the bubbling up and whatnot. And then we'll do a, uh, I mean, when it's done, yeah, we'll see how everything looks, right? So let's take this out to the sun. All right, guys, we're at the final stage here. As you can see, I mean, just from this, they're looking pretty good. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take these and one more time soap and water them. 
clean them off, clean the peroxide off. So uh, let's do that. And then take a look at the final results, shall we? Oops. All right, guys, one last little thing here before we do a final reveal. Um, the G.I. Joe characters, the snow jobs, I've had issue with them uh, getting white, and I've actually done them twice with the uh, peroxide and sunlight method. Uh, so I decided to take this one apart, and as you can see, he's yellowed. I mean, he's lighter than he was, if you can tell, but he's yellowed all the way through. So I'm going to dip him just one more time, see if maybe we can't attack a problem from both sides. Um, but stay tuned for the final reveal, guys. All right, real quick while we're showing the results right here, quick shout out to Retro Madness in Arlington, Texas for providing me with some yellowed figures. As you can see, we got these things pretty clean. The uh, Snow Job, the G.I. Joe there, he's a little bit yellow still, but as I have learned, not all plastics are created equal. Thank you guys very much, really appreciate it. These are just my methods, they're not, they're not fail proof. Um, put your methods down below. My methods work for me. Maybe they'll work for you, maybe they won't. Definitely want to hear how you guys uh, clean your toys. So, really appreciate you guys watching. Again, thank you, Retro Madness, and I'll see y'all soon.